Thomas Jefferson, like most young men of his time, place, and station in life, grew up riding horses, and he was known as an excellent horseman. Jefferson had a lifelong passion for horses, especially the high-bred, blooded horses whose importation to the colonies had coincided with Jefferson's birth in 1743. These horses were the descendants of the three Arabian and Turkish stallions brought to England in the early 1700s, which were the ancestors of the breed today known as thoroughbreds. While Jefferson participated in horse racing only as a spectator, he loved owning these horses that were bred to race as his riding and carriage horses, many of which would have been stabled in this area here on the Monticello Mountain. His preference in riding and carriage horses was a bay stallion about 16 hands tall. Over the 60 years that Jefferson lived here at Monticello, there were many of his enslaved men and boys that helped to care for his horses, but there were two in important men that Jefferson gave total responsibility of looking after both his horses and the equipment. Early on, that would have been Jupiter Evans and later Wormley Hughes. Jupiter Evans was born at Shadwell Plantation, as was Jefferson. They grew up together, and Jupiter Evans even accompanied Jefferson to Williamsburg when Jefferson attended the College of William and Mary. Later, they would marry women off the same plantation. In Jefferson's retirement, Wormley Hughes, his enslaved gardener, overtook that important position of also looking after the horses and the equipment. Throughout his life, but especially after the early death of his wife in 1782, Jefferson liked to take long, solitary rides of several hours in length not only at Monticello, but wherever he was living, even in Paris and Washington. These rides were a time of escape and solitude from the cares of the world and a way to energize himself physically and mentally. Jefferson's last ride was only three weeks before his death on one of his favorite blooded horses, Eagle, around his beloved Monticello plantation. <music>